Hi, classmates of Wabash High School, 1952. My name is Neil Barnhart, and one of your classmates. I just got the information from Bob uh, and the committee that you're having a um, reunion uh, this September, and um, wanted to to get there and see everybody, but we're in Murphy, North Carolina, and so I decided I might send uh, a tape uh, to you, uh, having, a having a little bit to do with what we're doing, and uh, I wish we were having a two-way. I could be there. I could hear what y'all are doing. So anyway, uh, the picture above um, this is of my wife, Patricia, and I, and uh, we're in an island in our house. Um, a table, uh, and we're in the process of um, serving 120 pounds of pig, which we grilled um, uh, on July 4th, and we've got 46 guests that attended. So anyway, uh, this is a picture of us, uh, so you can see a little bit what we look like now <laughs> in our 83rd year. My 83rd year, Patricia's 46, I mean, 80, 76 years. So anyway, that's it. Uh, I put together uh, some comments and thought I'd pass it on to you. Uh, hope you enjoy it and find it uh, uh, knowledgeable. This is a video uh, that I put together um, trying to think about a reunion of the Wabash High School class of 1952. I don't think we've been, my wife and I, I don't think we've been to any of the reunions. Uh, we part, try to remember. <laughs> Since we're all 83, uh, I suspect everyone has the same issues of what you can remember and what you can't remember. But uh, I wish we could have. Uh, Patricia really wanted me to, to uh, find a way to get there. Uh, so a little bit about, uh, about us. Um, we uh, were married about 17 years ago and uh, we met on the internet and um, I didn't even know that there was such a thing. Uh, stumbled onto that website looking for something else actually. And um, looking for deals on, on discounts for uh, travel for my cousin. Anyway, found out one and only, and we thought, well, that must be the one and only travel uh, deal, and I thought they might uh, like that and try to get them talked into using the, the computer. This many, many years ago, uh, well, something 18 years ago, and uh, but uh, found out this website, and one thing led to another. Patricia, I was in Memphis, Tennessee at the time, and she was in um, Tampa. She was a real estate agent and had been for about 10 or 12 years there. She lived there for a good portion of her life, a lot of travels before then. And I was near, uh, this was in 1999, and September of 1999. And I was moving towards retirement, or I downs my retirement from Harris after 37 years. And uh, so it worked out really great to, to to, to meet her online, and then we talked, and then we um, visited each other, and so forth. So, anyway, that was 17 years ago. We were married in April 1st, uh, 2000, and yeah, I know, April Fool's Day. Anyway, um, that turned out to be uh, many people steered clear of that couple, uh, and we were able to get the, the venue that we wanted, and so that allowed us to, to do that. So, we were, uh, we were married on the beach, yeah, Longboat Key in uh, Florida. So anyway, uh, we bought a house. She had a house in Tampa, and I had one in, in Germantown, Tennessee, outside of Memphis. And so we lived in both houses for a while, and finally sold the, the Germantown house uh, and moved uh, into uh, her Tampa house, which we then moved again and again. Uh, at the spot to, at that time that we were married, uh, we wanted to find a place to, to get out of Florida in the summer time and because it's so hot and so we ended up coming to North Carolina and uh, sight unseen but we had pets and so it was not it was not easy to find a place to rent um, 
for three months is what we were looking for to do with a pet. So, but we found a place in Murphy, North Carolina. We have really fell in love with it. We we're surprised at at the uh, the view and so forth that we were able to see. Uh, and so we looked for houses and ended up buying a lot on top of a mountain, uh, you know, on top of Wildcat Mountain in, in the gated community. And we uh, set aside building our house uh, together. And we've been here six months here in Murphy. We come about mid-April uh, each year and stay till it gets cold and then Patricia's ready to go back to our Tampa house. So we go back in November around uh, Halloween. And so and we come back at Christmas time for a couple of weeks. So that's pretty well our travel. We've been doing that for 16, 17 years now. So uh, retirement was sort of a, was happening in 2000 for me. Uh, Patricia stopped working as well. And uh, so we have a blended family uh, all together uh, with both of us. Uh, we have uh, five children and six grandchildren. And so we love them, absolutely love them. And the older we get, <laughs> the more important uh, all of our family is to us, I guess, uh, since we're not having other competing uh, interest uh, possibilities. Um, so we've um, had a boat, uh, several boats, actually. Uh, we had a boat in, uh, in Tampa. And... Uh, it was an F cruiser, a 30, 40, 40 foot boat with two staterooms and, and a lot of really, really nice features to it. And we like we like, enjoy traveling on it on weekends and a couple of weeks uh, went to, down to Key West. And so it was a lot of fun. Um, at the same token, it was in salt water. And so, and we're spending six months in North Carolina. So it got kind of expensive to try to maintain that boat for the six months each year that we weren't there. So we decided to sell it. Then here in, in we're in Murphy right now, uh, we ended up buying a uh, uh, 28, no, 32 foot uh, boat. It was like a, a, a floating boat that had uh, um, a small galley on it and a bathroom. Uh, and uh, bedroom in the back, small kitchen, and uh, and then the front was was like a, a uh, I guess you wouldn't call it a raft; you just call it a float boat, I guess. And so, anyway, we enjoyed it, and we have a lot of time, a lot of fun on it. We named it uh, "Making Memories," uh, particularly with our great friends uh, in our family, and spent a lot of time on that. So we had that for about ten years. Uh, and kept it here in, in near Murphy, about a half hour from here, on a TVA lake uh, called Lake Chateau. So we sold that that then just this past year, um, and uh, so our house in Tampa we downsized that to to a house around 2,000 square feet, and uh, that was an interesting uh, experience. The downsize we had a large 3,200 square foot house, and so we had enough room to just the two of us uh, and our animals we have right now four cats and one dog and so traveling back and forth and so forth it uh, we enjoyed enjoyed the house but we just don't need anything that big in in Tampa so we moved into a smaller house and uh, that's worked out fine now so uh, if and, and Patricia uh, is uh, is taken up uh, since she retired also in 2000 2000 uh, took up a, a painting watercolor thoroughly enjoys um, watercolor and it has a training a class uh, here in Murphy and also in, in Tampa and continues taking classes uh, there uh, and uh, it's not really a class it's, it's, the teacher gives her guidance but the, there's about eight or nine in the class and they all do their own whatever they're painting and, she, and the teacher walks around and gives some suggestions for this and that so it's that kind of a work session together and she's the teacher's there to give them guidance when they need it and give her thoughts so it's a great uh, fun for her for the, the ladies in the class uh, as well as the uh, as the instructor in fact there, there several of them have been up here in North Carolina last year and hope they'll come up again so they've really been great friends for us uh, Patricia has quite a few paintings, watercolors. Uh, we've got a place online. Uh, if you go to patriciabarnhart.com, 
patriciabarner.com. A number of her paintings are, are posted there. Uh, and so, and we have a website, a family website, it's called barnhart.org, and you can uh, see um, what we're doing there. I guess a part of the reunion is to share what other people are doing, so since I'm not able to be there and understand what you're doing, I guess I'm just sort of rallying on some of the things that we're doing. Uh, if you go to YouTube and, and go in the search air engine, uh, search uh, window, and type in Neil Barnhart, that you will find probably, I think, 18 or 19 different um, videos uh, that I put together, video clips of just different things we're doing in our family. I don't remember really what all we've got on there now, just off and on. I, I put together a, a, about an editing program, a Filmora editing program, video editing program, so put things together. And so it's been a lot of fun just for me. I enjoyed doing that. Uh, I've also started a blog uh, and uh, have got about 30 some different, um, I guess you call them documents. It's a personal history, a personal journal is really what it is, just some experiences uh, through my life that I've enjoyed thinking about. Uh, and converted it to a document uh, uh, that runs anywhere from like two pages to maybe six or eight pages or ten pages. And just just kind of rattling off about different things, and uh, had it put on my son, uh, helped us uh, set up this place uh, to post that on the uh, on the internet. On, uh, so I'm doing that and enjoy that as well. So we have uh, my wife is a wonderful cook and loves to cook, and so we have lots of friends. So we do a lot of entertaining uh, at 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 our house, particularly here in, in Murphy. Uh, in the community that we're in, it's a, it's a 500 acre uh, uh, mountain community. And so, in fact, our, our house is called, we named it Top Cat, it's the top of Wildcat Mountain. And let's see, where would be some pictures of that? Uh, it would be on barnhart.org. If you go on our family website, you'll find pictures there. Also, if you go into YouTube, you'll see pictures that were taken uh, here in a house at different. Christmas and Thanksgiving and uh, uh, I guess uh, New Year's Day egg roll party. My wife loves to, to cook egg rolls and we get people together and so we just ended up at July 4th at a party. Uh, we had 46 of our friends, friends and family here and uh, I cooked a, uh, a grilled 128 pound whole hog on a pit that I uh, that I created, and uh, in fact, you'll find that somewhere on the on the YouTube. Uh, so uh, the kick, your grilling, and so forth. So anyway, it's just a lot of fun. We're just busy doing a lot of different things. Um, made a number of trips to different places, and we enjoy that as well. And our health is is okay. Uh, got some issues on both sides of us, and uh, we're working through it. And so I'm 83. My wife is 70, 76 now. So. Anyway, I guess that's it. it. Pretty well covers what we've been doing. I wish we were there. Uh, we thought about the trip uh, from Murphy to Wabash would be uh, probably. Uh, I'm not sure we can do it in a day. I not checked the mileage, but it's got to be close to eight or nine hundred miles, and uh, or excuse me, seven or eight hundred miles probably. And so uh, we probably just won't make that won't make that trip. Uh, and uh, so. Anyway, I'm sorry we couldn't do it. Love to see everybody. Uh, I've continued with Bob uh, uh, and Barbara. We we interchanged with them a couple of times uh, when we were in Wabash, and also when they were in Florida. Uh, and so we thoroughly enjoyed that as well, and, and kept up with them. Um, and uh, so we appreciate all of that and, and uh, value our friendship uh, with, with Bob and Barbara for sure. So, uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, today is, uh, is July 17th. Uh, we have had a lot of people stay with us over the July 4th holidays. Uh, my daughter, a daughter and a son, and the daughter's uh, married and they live in California, Redondo Beach. But they bought a house here in our gated community. Uh, 
can. Uh, they're only there for a couple of weeks a year, but they got a chance for us to, to be with them. And so it was sort of great. And we made a trip out there this uh, spring to got to got to be with them as well. It's a long trip, uh, going from one coast to the other. So so anyway, but we're so happy to have them here as well. Uh, Patricia has uh, two sons and a daughter, uh, and they're all married. Uh, and they have uh, combined four children, uh, and so our grandchildren, and then two. So uh, two ch with uh, Beth, my daughter has uh, two as well. So that's our six grandchildren's makeup of that. Uh, Patricia's uh, son, one is in Cumming, Georgia, uh, was there uh, with two children, and uh, the other one is in Jacksonville, and they have two children. And so we spend a fair amount of time with our grandchildren uh, attending their different events that uh, we thoroughly enjoy. Her granddaughter uh, was on the, the swimming team at Georgia Tech, got her degree there, uh, and actually uh, elevated to uh, the uh, preliminary Olympic uh, trials. So we're really proud of what they've done um, as well. Her grandson, her brother, um, is active in soccer and soccer, and in football and basketball and uh, is a freshman in college and is already getting a, a contact from several excuse me I said that a freshman in high school so he's, he's uh, 16 years old and is already getting contacts from college uh, about the, his football power so a lot of stuff going on um, Doug has got, my son has got uh, a number of uh, websites um, that he has put together and a blog as well and is having a great time uh, with that and thoroughly enjoys it and is enormous help to me. Uh, clearly computer literate and so I constantly turn to him for help on different areas on the computer. So thank goodness we're finding now that with our grandkids, if we have to have them a question of what we're doing, uh, we go to our grandkids to tell us how to do this and do that. I got a feeling a lot of you are doing the same thing, so, but maybe not. So, um, we lost a lot of our classmates, uh, and I've kept up with them. As Bob sends out to note, I was particularly uh, troubled by Skip, Skip Alzheimer. Skip was our quarterback uh, for our football team. Um, we were undefeated in our. In our senior year and won the CIC conference and we're really proud and, and he, he led us on that and so uh, I've kept up with him on some emails back and forth but but haven't seen him and so I'm uh, sorry that I sorry that uh, certainly sorry for you along with so many of our, our, our uh, teammates uh, have passed away and uh, so anyway uh, Bob said that uh, this may be the last reunion uh, and I don't know what the reason is, but I can, I can guess what that is. It just, just not that many that are still feeling well enough to travel and, and, and attend these, I suspect, was, was part of the, the, the decision. Or the, 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 see, I think uh, Bud Dieter, uh, dear friend Bud, but not absolutely Bud. Uh, he was in and I was tackled side by side in football. Team. So many different places in basketball. So all of our teammates, uh, of course, Bob and I, Played basketball. Oh, he was in Miami, and then I was in what was it? West Ward. Uh, I forgot what it was. And then we went into what was called junior high. We did for two years, and we our our team there, and we were undefeated. It wasn't Bob? We were 40, 40, uh, 40 games over our up up into into high school, into our freshman high school. So anyway, we were proud of all of that. So. I don't have any clippings of that, and somehow I had it, but mom, mom kept a lot of our clippings, uh, and somehow they got lost, uh, so we lost all of that, but it had been fun to go back and think about some of those as well, so. Anyway, uh, we feel uh, very fortunate. We love animals, uh, so we have one dog, a German Shepherd, uh, who is, uh, she is 10 years old, and we have four rescue cats. Uh, Patricia uh, volunteers. Um, the factors right now is uh, on Monday, every Monday, volunteers at a, 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 a place in town that collects uh, uh, used stuff. Uh, and uh, and people come in and buy it and then use that to help uh, fund uh, the dog, dog rescues in, in this area. So 
they've done an amazing job and she loves that, that contribution as well so anyway I guess that's about it uh, sorry we can't make it uh, but and I don't know what you do with this video uh, I have, have to think about it uh, I could put it on YouTube with a link on it It'd be one way to do it so you can see, do that maybe that might be the easiest way to, to do that uh, could put it on the thumb drive and send it there uh, we'll think about it so and I'm not sure how, how much interest you would be in it. this is a strange way to, for us to talk since it's all one way and uh, but anyway uh, our class has really uh, been important to me. Well, by Apaches, um, football, basketball, track. Bob and I were in all three, and uh, so many of them as well. So, anyway, uh, a lot of fine, fine memories. And so I'll just say sayonara, and uh, until we meet again, perhaps. Goodbye.